Welcome back, guys. Today we're going for a test drive in a 1969 Bug. Oh, Volkswagen convertible here. Be pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. It's got the four cylinder air cooled motor in the back, dual exhaust, four speed. Should be a fun little test drive. We're going to drop the top before we take off out of here. Check us out, maplemotors.com. I have shipping and financing available for you, plus close to 100 detailed pictures. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we're going to try to take this top down. I don't think I've ever personally taken one of these down. I may have in the past, just not remembering. But let's make sure we got it all right here. So I know it's not power. There we go. So I think you just lift them on up here. One handed right here. Back to the bandit day. <laughs> is that all we do? I think it is. Hit these back windows. Seat belt was in the way there. There we go. They're coming down. Definitely need to put that in the floor. That'll fly out in a heartbeat. I'll be rolling this one right back up. Look how easy it is to take down. This one over here. When it's coming down pretty easy too. Sweet. Check that out. That looks pretty good. Go ahead, jump on the interior. custom glove box I was playing with so many switches this one here it screws on and the windshield wipers do work but it was kind of tough it may need a new little switch there starts up pretty good oh hell let's take it out of gear first that way we don't take off I'll show you with the windshield wipers. Push in, turn it, they do cut on. Just a weird, tough switch to mess with there. Aftermarket radio, show you the dash. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We're getting ready to try that out here in a minute. Itty bitty dash, aftermarket uh, speakers in the floor. Look pretty nice. I like how they did all this carpet. Horn? Oh yeah, horn's working. Yeah, listen to that motor real quick. Okay, we'll put y'all in the window. Let's hit the road. You guys are loud behind me, aren't they? I should call them out. Why y'all always got to yell up there? <laughs> they really do. We got some loud relatives. All right. So we're gonna take off out of here. Any flaws I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. feels great i'm not even having to touch the gas it's just pulling look at that you want to learn on a stick this is probably the one to learn on just let off it doesn't die <laughs> that's great of course reverse on these you push down pull back you got your reverse any flaws i see i will let you know speedo's coming up It's got a little bit of slack in it. But it seems to be going pretty straight down the road. Every 
thing's trying to fly out. Just cramming it all down in the seat. Brakes. Brakes are stopping good. They feel pretty good. drives like a go-kart. It's pretty fun, really. Turn signals are not popping up on the dash. That doesn't mean that they're not working. They're just, there's no indicator on here popping up. Shift better if you are. Try to get out of this traffic too. What we're going to do is hit this back road. We've got plenty of gas. on this one feels great too i'm purposely going through the gears a lot trying to uh just check everything out here let's hit this back alley maybe we can hide from people get some good shot all right look below in the description to see what i use to make these videos and uh Let's have some fun. Okay, let's reach back here, get my seatbelt on. Y'all tilted. Woo! <laughs> seatbelt, e brake, which works. And make sure y'all are straight here. Talk about easy to drive. Woo!
This is another one of those cars that my wife would jump over. She'd be going crazy if I brought this home. Her family actually grew up in and out of these cars all the time. She shows me pictures when she was a kid riding around on them. What in the world? Oh, okay. I didn't even know there was a road there. The guy's missing a whole front bumper for a reason. <laughs> You gotta manually turn off the turn signals. Apparently I've had that one on. You're good, come on out. Yeah, you gotta manually turn it off. Oh, they're trying to power up. Look, in that middle, it'll flash once. As you click it, I'm wondering if it's the sensor or the switch. Yeah, it's just barely flashing. It even makes the one click. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Try to figure out how to turn this. Yep, there it goes. That's the pant AC. It's for your pant leg. <laughs> Let's go for it. Nice little Chevelle there. I'm gonna park right here. And we're getting ready to do the walk around, point out flaws on the body, chips, scratches, dings, rust, whatever I can find. That way you know the rest about this vehicle. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share this video and hit like, and I'll keep making them for you. All right, let's get started. All right, we're back here. Getting ready to walk around this 1969 Bug Convertible. It's definitely got a pearl type paint job. There's a, looks like a wreck spot here in the back. You go dent in the fender. Worst spot on the car for sure. But I'm here to point out all the flaws. That way you know everything you're getting. I have detailed pictures at maplemotors.com as well. So be sure to go there and check that out. Let's see why that ain't opening. We'll check it out. And uh, hopefully I don't miss anything. Let's get started. Coming around the front bumper here, you got some rust popping up on the outside of that chrome. I think there was an inside lock on these that I need to look at. You got some chips on the front end, the watermark coming down from the headlight. A little rust try to pop up there. You got a lot of little dots and stuff on the hood, on the clear coat. Turn single there, it's got some cracks in the lens. Got some cracks in the paint there. Spot here. In the corner of the hinge there, some of the paint's popping out. Some bubbles up along this line there on that hinge. little rust at the bottom of that door there too there's a dent right here I almost feel like you can pop that out from the inside back bumper's got some scratches it's not in perfect shape there's a spot on the paint there that's been taped up cracks 
Oh, sorry. I, I hope that went loud. I'm sure it was. It's got like a pearl type paint job, like I said. This little motor runs strong. You got some bubbles around the top here, rust bubbles. Big old crash mark here. Chips. Fiberglass has popped up a little bit probably when that happened. And a dent down here at the bottom. Got some rust bubbles popping up at the bottom of the door. Up in the front too. Bubbles on the inside there. Light scratch right here. Headlight there. Got some cracks in it, or not headlight, uh, turn signal there. Sorry about that. Paint chip on the hood. It's like a chip right in the middle of the windshield there. Also one right here. Got some rust bubbles popping up where the top is, right there at the bottom. A little bit of weather stripping hanging out here. There's a ding in your trim. All right, made it around this vehicle. Let's go ahead and jump on the interior and check it out. Let's see if we can find a release for that hood up there or trunk is what it would be. that goes to it goes up in there somewhere i won't pull on it too hard but i feel like that may be what it is looks like that's starting to rip too so if i pull on it hard it probably will i got my fingers behind it nope can't pull much harder than that let's look in here what about this one is that my lock maybe let's see yep see I told you I figured out spare tire oh my goodness I'm dropping stuff the seal around this is a little bit weak too. Looks like I popped the gas cap. I think that one under the dash is the gas cap. Sir, you can't be scaring me like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now push down on that lever or up and I bet it secures it. Good. All right, coming up on the door panel here. Not in bad shape, it's pretty good.
Good deal. Guys, we've walked around this ride. We've checked it all out. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Also share this video and hit like. It helps me out more than you know, and I'll keep them coming your way. I do appreciate you watching. Check out maplemotors.com if you need financing or shipping. We'll get you hooked up with a classic. All right, guys, I'll get back to it. I'll see you later.